Welcome back to another installment of Unfolding Sales. I'm your host, Tom Bilek. We've been going through the selling cycle. We've been talking a lot about opening the sales call, about identifying needs, developing opportunities. Now, as we start to get into the sales call, we're going to start to hear some objections. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to handle those objections. Today, I'm joined by Mickey Robbie to handle some of these objections. Hey, Mickey, thanks for joining today. Thanks for having me. Mickey, as we get into the selling phase, and we start to hear some objections from buyers. What are some of our objectives in handling those? What are we really trying to do? Well, first and foremost, we wanna to try to address it with calm and etiquette manner, as some of the times we get objections and we start to wanna to spit out the facts right away and get back at them. You actually wanna clarify what they're actually asking you and really isolate the question and then addressing the question. Okay, Mickey, so now we're in a situation where we've uh, we've made uh, some inroads, we feel like we're making some progress, and we hear something from the buyer that appears to be an objection, but we're not quite clear what it really is that they're saying. Uh, what do we do in this, this situation? So first, what you need to do in this situation is really repeat back what they're saying. So for example, if they're, asked, if they're saying something about the price, and you're not really sure if that's what they're really digging at, you could say, so if I understand you correctly, is the price a concern to you? So what you're doing is playing back what they've they've just told you and giving that buyer an opportunity to really clarify and really get into it a little bit deeper, um, maybe in more specific terms. Is that right? Exactly. And on top of that, they might be hesitant to even talk about other stuff because we are now at the table phase. We are at the phase of negotiation. So now you need to isolate that question and also ask them. So I understand that price may be a concern. Is there's anything else that is a bother to you or something that you think is making you really hold back? You really want to play that empathetic, sympathetic way of trying to really get what they're trying to say. So what you're saying is don't immediately try to counter that objection. Uh, isolate it by just Let's put it out there for right now. I know I haven't addressed that just yet, but I, I intend to. But before I do that, is there anything else that might be holding you back? So this way you give me an opportunity as a buyer to, to do sort of a spill session. Exactly, you want them to open up so that way they can be comfortable with objections that they had and not for you to be so defensive and come back at them because once you become defensive and heat up the tension, you may lose that potential buyer. So what you're saying is let's Let's make this a true dialogue. Let's understand what's really on the minds of our buyers uh, so that we can in fact answer their concerns in a clear, concise way, but not in a, in a debate or an argumentative way. Right. Okay, anything else? So after that, once you got all the set of concerns that they had, you can finally one by one addressing each one. So you could say, um, well, if we look at our competitors, their prices are a little bit slighter than ours, but look at what they're actually offering. You can come with facts and actually acknowledge them at the same time, but really hone in on those facts in order to make it a clean, concise way of addressing them. Okay, so I love what you said about getting all of the objections out in the open, and then in a methodical way, answering them one by one uh, to really keep that dialogue positive and keep it going, right? Exactly. What you're saying is we might not make this sale on this very first call. It might take a series of meetings, uh, in which case we have to be uh, we have to be patient and we have to realize that uh, good things don't always happen overnight. Right, exactly. And what you want to do, especially with objection handling, is try not to deter the person away from that company. So say you did not get that first initial oh yeah, we would love to have your service or buy your product. You need to keep them on that good face in order to get them the next time. Because once you blow that interaction, it's over and they might not want to see you again. So don't burn the bridge. Exactly. Mickey, thank you so much. This has been very valuable as we get into the sales call and learn how to handle these objections in a clear, concise and methodical way. Once again, I'm Tom Bilek. Thank you for joining us on another installment of Unfolding Sales. We'll see you next time.